What's up, Kerbal Nuts? This is Nolan PC, and today we're playing some more Caspi, obviously. Um, what I've built, you might be able to tell right away, is kind of a Dream Chaser-esque replica. Uh, all stock parts, I believe. Yeah, all stock parts. Uh, I had originally built it with rocket motors, but I'm switching it up to the rapier, and I thought, why not just record this re-entry? I know how much you guys love the re-entries, so this was kind of just a test phase, right? This is a prototype of our dream chaser. There we go. I am very unsure of how this... This is this is my first actual re-entry. What I did with the uh, the two smaller rocket engines was I had a lot of liquid fuel and oxidizer in here, so I was just burning to sort of get into a level flight or whatever, and then I'd kind of just turn it around and then put it down on the runway. I was basically just gliding it. This is my first actual re-entry, and I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go. I've done basically the same re-entry parameters that we use when we do the other shuttle, the STS-2016, but this thing, I'm, I'm very unsure of how this is going to go. Um, I can already tell it's starting to dip the nose down. Yeah, it's slowly moving the nose down, even though it's pinning it all the way back. So I'm now holding D as hard as I can. I'm trying to keep that nose up. Um, do I have any vectoring? I do have a little bit of vectoring. That was actually less helpful than I thought it would be. <laughs> I have to fix those ailerons, move them back a bit. Elevon, Elevon 1. Got to move those Elevon 1s back a bit. I'm going to, because we're coming in... We're coming in a little weird. switched prograde so it'll hopefully help keep me at 90 that's also very important i'm not trying to accelerate i'm just trying to use the vectoring on the motors to get the prograde marker to level because as long as it's level we'll be just shedding speed yeah kind of like so there we go awesome sorry about the shitty view there I was paying more attention to the nav ball than I was what we were actually seeing. Something's going to pop there. And I'm unsure of what it is. So I'm going to try and bring the speeds down abruptly with the air brake. And the air brakes are actually... They end up acting um, as almost like winglets, I think. Because of their angle and the fact that they're up at the top of the craft, they should be creating some sort of lift some nose lift. Oh, this is pretty good. Let's uh, let's start dipping down because we're still going way too fast. So I'm trying to bend that orbit down. Actually, we did like too good on our on our initial descent from orbit. We did like too good on that. So there we go. We're coming down. We're gonna sort of loop over the water and then come back around. I think. More than likely. I'm trying to get down into the thicker Atmo kind of as quickly as possible. Oh shit. That was silliness. Something's getting really red hot and is gonna go any second. I'm hoping it's not the nose cone. The speeds are coming off really good there. Okay, it's starting to cool down. We're over Cape K. Perfect. Perfect. We came, you know, a little long. We shot a little longer than we'd like to. I probably could just do something like this. Yeah, this might work. <laughs> we have 10,000 meters to get this thing to come about. Coming about, Captain. There's Cape K way down there underneath the clouds somewhere, 15 kilometers away. I've got some semblance of control, so I have like, I have this 
artificial sense of hope. But see, like, we've got SAS on. Oh, if I do this, will it level? Will it stay level? Yeah, I guess, I guess it kind of will. Okay, let's level out a little bit, see if it'll hold. 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 Yeah, it's kind of holding. Okay, so it, it'll kind of do a descent, which is good, right? If it noses down, even though you've got SAS on, if it's, like, way too front heavy or whatever. Speaking of which, get all the weight in the back. I think that would be probably good, right? Yeah, I feel immediately like I've got a little more control. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we came in uh, a little wonky there, so I'm just going to make some speed and shed just a shit ton of height. But I'm, I'm thinking this, this thing is actually kind of successful, given it's like weird shape. Um, it flies, so it's like it's it's a success in that sense. But the work it took to get it up, the sort of efficiency once it was up there, and its efficiency flying down here, I just don't see this thing being a craft that I would like ever want to use. You know, <laughs> like I can't, I don't see its value. I don't see its value yet. Oh, there we go. I just realized I have no air intake on these things, so I should probably do that at some point. All right, give it some air intakes somewhere, even if they're just those little radial mounted ones. All right, nosing up. All right, popping that. 60, doing like 100 miles an hour, like next to nothing. All right, boink, perfect perfect clean little landing for a perfect clean little craft this thing's pretty cool like I kind of like it. Um, it it's all stock so I'll put it in a drop box and you can fly it if you want uh, how you would launch it right is to just attach I should probably break and stop right just attach the the launch rocket thing uh, to the clampatron use some struts put it in a fairing problem solved it's really small right like when you if I can put the brakes away or the air brakes away see it's pretty slim like it's only like two of these cabins wide what are these mark two inline it's only about two mark inlines wide so it's really narrow it doesn't take a big rocket to get it up there and it's pretty good in space like the rockets are set right at the center of mass so it'll actually push give it a try tell me what you think improve on it do whatever you want to do Guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you comment and tell me what you're playing. I hope you like, share, fave, you know, do all those things you guys always do as YouTubers because you guys are fucking awesome. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.